All right, taking a look at the Matchbox Top Gun Maverick diecast airplanes. I have previously made a video showing numbers 1 through 5 in the series of 15. And just to kind of recap that, number 1 is the Dark Star. And I have one of those removed from its packaging. I like the fact that it comes with a display stand and it doesn't have any wheels on the underside of it. To me, as a kid playing with airplanes, I didn't want them to have wheels on it because you don't typically see modern aircraft flying around with wheels deployed in the landing position. They would be retracted up and that's how I would want to play with them just as you would see them flying through the sky. So I really liked that they just included a stand so if you wanted to set it down and display it it would display nicely that way and if you were a kid wanting to play with it it made for a nice model to play with without any wheels getting in the way of your imagination of this flying around. Now when I made my first video I kind of speculated that this might have been like a UAV and now that I've seen the second trailer I I kind of I'm doubting that now I'm wondering if that is a cockpit and the trailers there is a scene where Tom Cruise has a helmet with a visor that's illuminated and then he's flying over some and a little shack in the middle of the desert and it blows the roof off so I'm wondering if this is what that aircraft was if it's like some kind of experimental something or other in the movie but it's kind of a cool looking plane the one critique I would give it is I mean like I'm glad that they don't have any wheels on it but I also feel like boy they kind of cheaped out there where they put those voids in there to conserve on plastic injection molding and I'm guessing that in the movie there's not going to be these voids the air intake would have been solid across the bottom of it and uh, just just a little a little something to complain about but so that was the first one number one number two is the enemy strike jet and I also have one of those out of the package now you can see I think maybe uh, you can see that there are some wheels attached to this airplane and I've said in the previous video that I thought I would probably try and experiment with removing those and I did that so I removed those matchbox style wheels from this airplane and then I put some JB water weld to fill that void in and kind of sanded it smooth so makes for a nice like in flight style airplane without the wheels in the landing position so I I really like the way that this airplane looks it's got that futuristic look to it um, originally I had con I had thought that this was just a futuristic uh, design like some kind of fictional thing but it almost now that I spend a little more time looking at it and looking at other airplanes online I think that it might be modeled after a Soviet airplane I don't think it's got the same um, engine configuration on the back of it but looks similar so there's number two number three the Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet Hero and I have one of those out of its packaging and you can see the the paint scheme on this one and again I removed the wheels so it looked more natural like it was flying around got number three the F-14 Tomcat Maverick Number five, the Lockheed Martin F-35B. And 
and I had opened three of these and wanted to replace them, it took me two or three weeks to find this, this, and this to replace for this collection. I'd like to collect all 15 of them and have them set out on display. It took me three, or two or three weeks just to replace those ones because I would see empty boxes on Walmart's shelf and they would get set out and then all of the, I think that there are six of them in a box when they get set out for the first time on the shelf and all six of them get snatched up like that. So, um, moving on to the three that I just found today, I, I, as I suspected, uh, it looks like a lot of these are going to be repaints of the same mold, but this one's a new one. This is the P51 Mustang. And I'm not going to open this one up right now because I only saw this one. If they would have had two, I would have purchased one to keep in its packaging to collect and another one to open up and check out. But boy, I really like the fact that they, again, they put that stand on there and there aren't any wheels on the underside of this airplane. Uh, it seems like that, that prop on the front of that plane is just really big for this model. Uh, it doesn't look super accurate to a P-51 to my eye. It looks a little boxy, so I don't know if there's a little bit of artistic liberty with the design of this die-cast airplane, but that is the number 6 of 16. And then 7 and 8 are just kind of repaints. You've got the F-14 Tomcat Rogue Nation, and it Instead of, find the other one, instead of it having just like a pretty well a gray and light blue paint scheme, this one has a gray, black, and red paint scheme where it's got a red bird and a black tail with a red bird on it. So I don't know if this is just like a fun die cast um, offering in the series or if there is going to be a rogue nation in the movie but that's kind of fun you can see that there is a, another difference here where the cockpit is light blue on the first one and dark tinted on the second one but it looks like just the paint scheme and the cockpits or canopies excuse me the canopy is different color and then we come to the eighth one in the series, and it's the Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet. This is a rooster. I'm guessing that this is maybe Goose's son is getting into the Navy and going through Top Gun like his dad did all those years ago. That's speculation. Could be wrong, but I think that's a good guess. I'm really disappointed that they pushed the release date back from, what was it, June or July, and they're pushing it back to December because of this COVID stuff. I was really excited about watching that movie this summer, and now i got to wait longer. If we get to see it at all in December, I would not be surprised if we go back to some more lockdown stuff and they push that release date back even further but I really would like to watch it in the theater and get to watch it this December, if not sooner. But there's the, the next three that I found in the series today. All right, so this is all of the eight that have been released so far. I'm kind of curious to see how many of them are going to be repaints from here. I'd be surprised if there's not another repaint of this, and if there might not be another repaint of this. Uh, I'm hoping that there's not another duplicate of the F-14. I guess I'd be surprised if there was another uh, repaint of the P-51 Mustang. I'm hoping that there is going to be some other die-cast um, offerings, and they're not all from here on out just going to be repaints of what we've already seen. 
but it'll be interesting to see how long it will be before we see numbers 9 through 15. It took me three weeks to see these last three from the time that I first saw these first five. Alright, well thanks for checking out my videos.